Hey there, cancer researchers. Are you ready to dive into a groundbreaking synergy in cancer therapy? Today, we're exploring the combined power of antibody drug conjugates or ADCs and natural killer cells, known as NK cells. First, let's talk about ADCs. These are fascinating complexes that link an antibody which targets cancer cells with a potent anti-cancer drug. The magic here? ADCs selectively bind to cancer cells, minimizing harm to normal cells and delivering a powerful punch of drugs right where it's needed. Once inside the cancer cell, the ADC releases the drug, obliterating the cell from the inside out. Now let's switch gears to NK cells. NK cells are warriors of our immune system, with the ability to recognize and destroy infected or cancerous cells without prior sensitization. They utilize mechanisms like antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity ADCC, and release death-inducing factors such as perforin and granzyme to get the job done. But here's where it gets really interesting. The synergy between ADCs and NK cells. When an ADC binds to a cancer cell, it creates a target for NK cells to recognize and attack. The ADC weakens the cancer cells, making them more susceptible to NK cell attacks. Plus, the process of ADC-mediated cell destruction releases signals that activate NK cells, boosting the immune response even further. ADC treatment also alters the tumor microenvironment, aiding immune cell infiltration and function. This change enhances NK cell performance, creating a more hostile environment for cancer cells. Exciting research has shown that this combined therapy is significantly more effective than monotherapy. In specific types of leukemia and lymphoma, the ADC and NK cell combo has dramatically improved therapeutic response rates. In conclusion, the synergy of ADCs and NK cells opens new doors in cancer treatment. This powerful duo enables precise and robust attacks on cancer cells, marking a promising strategy for future immunotherapy. Thanks for tuning in. Stay curious and keep pushing the boundaries of cancer research.